In the previous video, which you can link to in the upper hand corner of this video, the upper right hand corner of this video, we went over kind of a qualitative analysis of the two different combination circuits. In this video, we're going to do a quantitative analysis, which means we're going to do the math and calculate the current and the voltages across the, uh, the voltages across those circuit elements and the current through that circuit for both kinds of combination circuits. Before we get started, once again, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Step by Step Science. Get all of our excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. When I look at my YouTube videos, I see that, my YouTube analytics, I see that so many people watch my videos who have not subscribed. Please subscribe, click the notifications bell, give us a thumbs up, leave a nice positive comment, and don't forget to share this video, and let's get started. This is the first uh, circuit we're going to look at. We have two bulbs that are in uh, parallel with each other, and then those two bulbs that are in parallel with each other are in series with this other bulb. So we have B1, B2, and B3. 5 ohms, 6 ohms, and 10 ohms. Like that. And we are going to answer these questions. What's the total resistance? What's the total current? What's the voltage across bulb number one? What is the voltage across bulb number two? And what is the current bulb number three? Okay, let's get started. Okay, the total resistance of the circuit. Now, this is a two-step process because we have to find the equivalent resistance of these two resistors and then add it to this one because these two are in parallel and they're in series with this one. So we're going to start with our nice one over equation, one over R2, 3. That's the equivalent resistance of 2 and 3 is equal to 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. You put 10 and 6 in there because that's a 10 and a 6, and you do that on your calculator. You'll get that 1 over R2, 3 is equal to 0 0.267. That's not the resistance. That's 1 over the resistance. So you've got to take the inverse of both of these, and that means in order to get the resistance, the equivalent resistance of 2 and 3, you do 1 on your calculator, 1 divided by 0. 0.267, and you get that the total resistance of those two resistors is 3.75. All right? Just like that. Okay, now we can take that equivalent resistance for these two, and this in series with that, we just add those two together, and you get that it's 8.75. That's the total resistance for that total circuit. Like that. Okay, now we want to know the current. The current we can just get with Ohm's law. We want to know the total current is the total voltage divided by the total resistance. Total voltage is 26. You can see right there, we calculated the total resistance, and that means the total current for that circuit is 2.97. If you want to find the total current, you have to use the total voltage and the total resistance, not just one of the resistors. You use the equivalent resistance that you found, the total right there. Okay, that means that anywhere along that path, the purple path I put on there, the current is 2.97 amperes. All right, doesn't matter where you look, Anywhere you look, it'll be 2.97. Okay, now we wanted the voltage drop across B1. Okay, let's write down the equation. We wanted the voltage for 1. That means we need the current for 1 and the resistance for 1. The resistance were given. The current, we just found out. The total is 297. Well, that's anywhere along this path, including flowing through bulb number 1. So the current 1, the current through bulb number 1 is equal to the total. Plug the numbers in. Multiply. 14.85. Volts. That means that this bulb uses 14.85 of the 26 volts given to the electricity, the joules per coulomb from that battery. Okay, now we want to know what is the voltage across bulb number two. Now, there's two ways to do this. There's maybe the easy way, which you have to understand a little bit conceptually, and then maybe there's the harder way, which is the math way. They both involve a little bit of math, but we know that this bulb uses 14.85 volts. Where is the rest of the voltage? Well, the rest of the voltage is from these two bulbs. Okay, that means that the, this voltage plus this voltage has to equal 26. Okay, and we know that parallel circuit elements have the same voltage. So we want to know the voltage for bulb number two. That means we use, we can, we can do this as take the total, because it's 26, minus what's used here, whatever's left over will be for these two bulbs. So the voltage total was 26, okay, minus the voltage of 1, which is 14.85, which we calculated earlier. And that means that it's 11.15. Okay, now, this is what you have to remember. Each of these bulbs doesn't get half of 11.15. Each of them gets 11.15. Because the electrons go through here, they lose 18 point, 
excuse me, 14.85, and then those electrons, whatever's left over, some go this way and some go this way. They don't split their energy. The energy they carry goes this way and goes this way. So the voltage drop across number two is 11.15, and the voltage drop across number three is also 11.15 because we know that parallel circuit elements have the same voltage drops. Okay? So now we know the voltage drop for both of them, even though we were only asked for two. Nice, huh? Okay, so see I put up there the voltage drop for two and three. They're both 11.15 because we want to know the voltage drop across bulb number two. Now there's a second way we can do that. Okay, now this one is the math way I would say. We want to use Ohm's law, V equals I times R. We want to know the voltage drop. That means we need to know the current through both of them and the resistance through both of them or the resistance of both of them. Now, in the previous slide, we calculated that the equivalent resistance of these two was 3.75. Remember, we went 1 over 6, 1 over 10, and we got 3.75. That's the equivalent resistance, the total resistance of these two. But what's the total current? Well, some here and some here, but that's going to be equal to this total. All right? So we can use the voltage drop across 2, 3, is going to be the current through 2, 3, which is the total, because plus or multiplied times the resistance of 2, 3, which is 3.75. If you do that, you get 11.15. Okay? Okay? That's the other way you can do that. You can see you get the same answer. All right. Now we want to know the current through bulb number 3. All right, this is the last one for this problem. We want to know the current here. So let's just write down Ohm's law. We want to know the current 3, I mean we need the voltage 3 and the resistance of 3. Well, we calculated the voltage of 2, 11.15. We know that they're parallel, so they have the same. Okay? So that means the voltage across 3 is also 11.15. Its resistance is 6, and the current is 1.86. That's the current that flows right here through bulb number 3. Well, the total is 297. 186 goes this way. Well, where's the rest of the current? The rest of the current is over here. And what is that current? Well, we could just take this minus this, and you'll get 1.11 amps. Now, we could also calculate it, because we know that the current is the voltage divided by the resistance. We know the two voltages are the same. We know the resistance of 2 is 10. 11.15 divided by 10 is basically 11.11 uh, 1 .11 also, okay, depending on the rounding. But you can see that this plus this is equal to this. The total is equal to the two parts. The two parts are equal to the total. Okay? Okay, that's the last one for that circuit. Now we're going to do this circuit. This circuit has two resistors, two bulbs in series, and those two are in series with the third one, excuse me, in parallel with the third one, and therefore, we're going to have to do a two-step process to get the total resistance. And we want the total resistance, the total current again. We want to know the current through bulb three. And this one just has four parts, the voltage across bulb number two. Okay, the total resistance. We need to add these two up. These are in series. We just use the series equation. We just add them straight up. They're in series. You just add them up. It's like one resistor with 16. And now that means we would have a 16 in parallel with a 10. Now we use our 1 over equation. Okay, 1 over 1, 2 plus 1 over 3. And that's 16 divided, 1 over 16 divided by plus 1 over 10. And you get 1 over the total would be 0 0.163. That means to get the total, you got to do 1 divided by 0 0.163, which is 6.15. That's the total resistance of that circuit. Now to get the current, it's just the same thing. Ohm's law, total current, total voltage, divided by total resistance. 30 divided by 6.15 gives you the total current of 4.88. That means anywhere along that path, you get the total current would be 4.88. It splits here. Some of the current is going to go this way, and some of the current is going to go this way. And we're going to figure those currents out, I think, right now. Bulb number three. Okay, we want Ohm's law again. We want the current for 3 is equal to the voltage of 3 divided by R3. Now, you have to remember, this bulb is in parallel with this battery. When I go from here back to the battery or from this side back to the battery, I don't go through anything. So that means that the voltage across that bulb is 30 ohms, excuse me, 30 volts. We know it's a 10 ohm resistor, and it's 3 uh, amps goes in 
that direction. Well, we know the total is 488. Here's 488. Here's only three. Well, where's the other 188? That's right. It goes through 1 and 2. So that's current 1, 2. So you could just subtract and you get it be 188. But we could also calculate it. And that's always fun too. We know the voltage across 1, 2. Now the voltage all the way across these two. Okay? The voltage all the way across these two is, is also 30. And the resistance of 1, 2 is 16. So you can't do like, I don't know what you might want to do, 30 divided by one of these. You're going to use the total voltage. You've got to use the total resistance. And 30 divided by 16 is also 1.88. All right? Add this plus this gets the total. The total gets split into two pieces like that. Okay? I think now this is the last one. The voltage drop across bulb number two. Okay, the voltage is the current divided by the resistance. We've got to use the current, okay, for number two and its resistance. We know the current through one and through two is the same. It's 188. So we're just going to put 1.88 times 5, and you get 9.4 approximately, depending on how you round. So the voltage across bulb number two, its current times its resistance is 9.4. Well, we know the total voltage all the way across this branch is 30. Well, where's the other 20.6? Well, that's right. It's across this bulb right here. So we can say, uh, we can just calculate it. If you do 1.88 for bulb number one and its resistance, because they have the same current but different resistances, you'll get just about 20.6 or 20.7, uh, depending on how you round. And so you can see some of the current is here, the rest, excuse me, some of the voltage is here, the rest of the voltage is here, and they add up to 30. 20.7 20 plus 9.4 is just about 30, 30.1, but depending on how you round. Okay, so there you go. That is the currents and the voltages for those two different kinds of combination circuits. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please don't forget to do all of those five things. Subscribe, notifications bell, comment, thumbs up, share this video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.